Good morning everybody. It is bright and early this morning, which is why I'm not speaking very loud. Callum's actually still in bed. Um, but it's very early this morning. I'm awake because it is moving day. Excuse my appearance, I've put my heatless curler in if you can't tell already. I don't actually know where to rest you now because we've popped the microwave away. <laughs> So yeah, excuse my tired eyes if I look tired, it's like 6am and we did the last of the packing last night. So anything that we were using up until this point, we packed away last night. The only thing that I've left out is the kettle because of course priorities, I need a cup of tea. But you'll see that the fridge is there. We've just defrosted that last night and we're gonna give it a clean later today. But I woke up this morning to a really nice big puddle on the floor where the fridge freezer well the freezer had defrosted so i've just been mopping that up this is what the house is currently looking like it looks very sad <laughs> very sad so um so most of the boxes are already in the garage downstairs so um there's not a lot to go from in this room i had to put the curtains out because they were actually down here and the water managed to get some of the ends wet so i'm trying to dry them out but they're really thin anyway so they'll dry out pretty quickly we popped the tv away last night which is there just got the sofa and then the bed we dismantled last night so we slept on a mattress last night so it's going to be a very busy but exciting day today the sun is shining hopefully it remains that way but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. I need a cup of tea to wake myself up and then we're gonna start moving. Callum's been a little busy bee while I've been getting ready. Uh, so I've done my makeup because what are we doing in less than an hour? Picking up Teddy! We're picking up our little puppy. Um, we should have already put out a video by now about that. So yeah, we're very excited. It's a very, very busy day. Um, originally I think I mentioned in the house tour that we were meant to be picking up Teddy tomorrow but all of the other dog owners are picking up the puppies today and we wanted to meet some of them I have been talking to one of them um, because they all live quite locally to us so all the puppies are staying quite local so we want to keep them in touch with like their brothers and sisters so we're meeting the owners who are going to be picking up their puppies at the same time which is really cute so yeah we get to say one final goodbye to the puppies we've seen them twice um all of them and we get to take our little boy home today which i'm so excited about i've got him a little blanket well we got him a blanket we've bought him so much stuff which um we've already taken over to the new house we actually got the keys earlier this week so we've been over a couple of times just to sort things out so we tried to put up the stair gate that we bought for teddy basically there's like an archway between the kitchen and the living room and we were going to put a stair gate there but we actually bought like an actual dog gate and it was rubbish um it wasn't big enough and also it didn't like tighten like the screws very annoying so we're going to try and return it but i've just bought a new one today which i'm going to pick up from argos i think it said i can pick it up after four so we're going to just use like a td box until we get that i've got him here a little treats pouch i say i i mean we <laughs> we bought him a little treats pouch and it's got loads of treats in there ready for picking him up because you instantly need treats to praise your puppy and then we got him this blanket as well which is like this really cozy dog blanket which i think was from b m so we're going to take him home in that but all of his stuff like his toys his food his crate all of that is in the new house which is so exciting. We were really excited last night putting it up because, sorry, Callum's just flushing the toilet. But yeah, we were really excited last night setting up all of his stuff, apart from the stair gate, that was a bit stressful. But the crate's really good and we've got him a bed and harnesses and stuff like that and toys. He's got so many toys already, doesn't he? He's got so much. He's such a spoiled pup already. And he doesn't even know it yet. Yeah, he doesn't even know it. We're expecting the first night tonight to be quite, not stressful, but he's going to be upset. I won't film too much of him because I know this is a moving in vlog, but 
this is part of us moving in. We're getting a puppy. Finally, I feel like this day has been a long time coming. And I'm so happy that we're finally getting a little dog. Reality of uh, moving. <laughs> Did you just hiccup? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse what I look like, guys. I feel how I look. Um, we're so tired. You're more tired than I am. Because basically we've got Teddy. And last night he was so loud. He just did not like his crate whatsoever. Um, we left him in the kitchen, but our bedroom is right above the kitchen. So we could hear him. I fell asleep because I was so knackered. Um, but Callum is a light sleeper, so he couldn't sleep. And then you, what time did you say that he start, He was quiet? About 10 to 2. 10 to 2. So Callum's not had that much sleep. I yeah, have had about that. six hours. We woke up at 20 to 6. Yeah, we woke up at like 20 to 6. Oh, it's just been... <laughs> been long but we're just making breakfast it's our first morning in our new house um sorry that i didn't film much yesterday to be perfectly honest it was a bit chaotic it was moving furniture in packing stuff away in the kitchen looking after teddy because he's very clingy um so yeah it was just a bit much but i'm gonna put the rest of my stuff away today so i'm gonna do um, like my dressing room and we've just got a few other bits and bobs to do so and i think we're having people visit as well today so we're trying to make sure it looks reasonably tidy um but i'm making some avocado on toast today for breakfast i need to stop doing this why do i keep doing this in like every video why have i started doing that but yeah i've had a shower believe it or not doesn't look like it but i haven't got any shampoo so i wasn't able to wash my hair even though i was really need it. to Huh? Showered already? Yeah, showered at like half six this morning. Um, I just need some shampoo to wash my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna make some food because I'm starving. We barely ate yesterday. I well, only ate dinner. Yeah, I had lunch, but yeah, I kept telling Callum to eat and he wasn't. But yeah, we're in our new kitchen. Teddy's having a nap, but I'll show you him later. So Teddy! Hey. <gasps> Hello, <laughs> hi darling. He knows his name. Hello, now. darling. It's been a day and a half, and he knows his name. I know. He's so smart. He's so clever. Look at him with Bunny. Oh, you want to show Mummy Bunny? <laughs> Kill Bunny. That's what his motto is. Shark attack. Yeah, shark attack. He loves doing that. <laughs> there you go. Shark attack. It's a land shark. That's what you are. What are you doing? <laughs> He's so funny. He is so funny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don't bite the camera lens. <laughs> Hello. Call him. Daddy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're so cute. Ow, that's biting. We don't do biting. <laughs> yeah, you can bite your bunny. And spin round. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a funny boy. Clumzo. <laughs> well, well, more food. Good bite to eat. So, we have made a trip out today, which was really good, uh, because we took Teddy, and he was so good in the car. He was so good. Um, and we got him a little pup cup from Starbucks, because they got a chai latte. Um, and that was good. He yes. He's actually really scared of being in the car. Um, well, obviously we've only had him for like a day and a half now. He's only had three he's behind journeys. feet. But yeah. today's journey, he didn't cry at all. Yeah, so normally he would cry. So he cried a lot when we took him home, uh, which was yesterday. He cried then when I went to Pets at Home yesterday. I took him on my own um, and I had to pick up... What was it I had to pick up? Treats. Oh, his, no, his stair gate. The stair gate and Yeah, so we actually bought a gate um, for in between the kitchen and the living room because the living room's carpet and we wanted to get him trained before we let him in there. But he's actually been so good that we've let him in there, haven't we? Yeah. He's not had any accidents in the if, living room. If he has had an accident, he's come into the kitchen and done it on yeah. the puppy pad. Yeah, exactly. Um, but he's actually been so good at going in the garden. But... Um, yeah he really doesn't like the car so we're trying to get him used to that so we took him out today to pick up our bin He's playing on his own. oh bless mm. it was so cute um but yeah we took him 
and he was really scared at first he was quite shaky um, and then we got him a pup cup and then after that he seemed to settle down a, like quite a lot didn't he he, he stopped asleep. yeah he stopped shaking and by the end of the journey he was asleep like fast fast asleep so that was really good so i think he is getting used to the car um we came back as well first thing we did was put him outside he went for a wee straight away didn't he he just he was waiting for us to get home he's just waited at the door then to yeah get away. he's so smart but anyway we're not going to be well we are going to be those people that we're talk gonna about their dogs dog parents, yeah, yeah dogs 24 7. um but anyway the point of me telling you that was that we've got a new bin for our kitchen i'm going to show you what we've done so far with the kitchen because um it's pretty much the only room that's finished isn't it yeah yeah it's the only room that we've really finished <laughs> so this is what it's looking like obviously we've well we we've actually originally had gate. yeah we've got the stair gate we had the bowls over there first but it's in direct sunlight so we've actually put it over here um then he's got his crate there which i think we'll keep there for the time being um just until he's trained uh, we've got the dining table here which i've put the runner on there we've got a lot of doggy bits um that's his doggy bits too then we've got alcohol there we've got his dog stuff here but i think i will move that down to there because i think i want to get like the laundry detergent and stuff on there um then our new bin is here we've got our mop and then we've got all of our little bits and bobs out on the sides it's a that needs, bit messy isn't yeah it? that needs to go in the dishwasher but we've already got a load going um i wouldn't say it looks messy so I think it looks I have no idea. We literally don't know how to work this dishwasher. <laughs> Get out how to work the dishwasher. On to the living room. Um this is still actually very messy. Um this stuff is going in the loft because it's all Christmas autumn stuff. Although I'm not sure whether to leave the autumn stuff out. Oh, hello. Hello, kind sir. <laughs> He's got his little rope tug of war thing then we've got sort of a very well it's a very similar setup to what we had in the old house I think um, it's yeah i actually do really really like it i think it works really well with the room but obviously we are going to get a new sofa eventually um once we've got teddy trained Tomorrow, but tv goes up yeah tv's going up we've got the bracket there um callum's friend james is going to come come over he actually helped us this weekend he was a massive help he helped us with our first house as well um he's just really handy but he's going to pop that up on the wall and then we're going to put the tv on the wall um so yeah very similar layout apart from the uh radiator cover has gone behind the sofa because there is a radiator there um we've then got the throw thing which i need to put some throws in that's the drinks tray and then this stuff here is just decor that I need to figure out where to put because I think I'm going to rearrange that. We, we just did it really quickly um, and I need to figure out what I'm putting everywhere. Um, and then, yeah, obviously the TV, I need to put my diffuser out because that is the best thing ever. And it will cover the smell of dog <laughs> when he's stinky. Where is he? Oh, I can see his little tail. <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. What's your name? He's so good at sitting as yeah, well, guys. Yes. Yes. We also had him on a collar and lead earlier. The collar is slightly too big for him still. Um but it was meant for a puppy, but it's just still way too big. Um but he'll grow into it, but we put it on him earlier when we went out just That's in case fun. he needed a wee. And he was so good. Like he was not phased at all. He did chew on it a little bit, but he was other than that he was fine. Huh? No, that's my tongue. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> 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 Hi. <laughs> Look at your little waggy tail. <laughs> so the next plan of action is upstairs, which I'm going to go do now. Um, I need to put some clothes away. Do you want to put him yeah, in the kitchen right. or are you waiting with him? I saw him. So okay. Away. So, yeah, I need to sort out my clothes because... It's an absolute tip in the dressing room. I'll show you what we're working with here. So this is currently what it's looking like. Very messy, I know. We've got my uh, mirror up here and the desk, all of that stuff. We've actually had to put the big mirror that was in the last dressing room in the bedroom. And we've put the chest of drawers here because they didn't fit where we were gonna have them originally. We didn't realize how big they were. 
I've then got the wardrobe here which I've started to hang up my clothes and then we've also got the cupboard here which is going to be Callum's clothes. So I'm going to crack on and put all of my clothes away first so that I can get all of the boxes of clothes out of the way and then we're going to go from there. So everyone it's now the next day and we've just done our first food shop in the new house. Um, it came to a little bit more than usual because we had a few extras that we needed to pick up so I'm going to start from this side. I think this week it came to about £70. To be honest, actually is the average for us. So it's not really more. Oh, I can hear a little monkey boy. Monkey boy. <laughs> Dad will be back in a minute. Uh, leave that. Leave it. Teddy, come here. Teddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you have some of your food. So over here we've got some cheese and onion crisps. We've got some bread. We've got some vanilla marble brioche. This is incredible, by the way. If you haven't tried it, I really recommend. Then we've got some bagel thins, some garlic and coriander naans. We have some chicken dippers, some bacon, chicken steaks, British Tennessee barbecue ham. We normally get the butter chicken, but they didn't have it this time. So Callum's having that one. Then we've got some hot and spicy chicken chunks. I think Callum has these for either dinner or work. I can't remember. Then I've got a beef lasagna. I haven't had this for so long because I was doing keto. So all of the things that I would normally buy, I've got this week because obviously I'm not doing it this week. So I've got the beef lasagna. Then we've got some two extra large beer battered haddock fillets. These are so good if you want like a fake away. If you want like a chip shop fake away, this is so good. Then we've just got some plain chicken breast fillets, the frozen ones. We've got a stone baked sourdough barbecue chicken and bacon pizza. I actually tried on move-in day the honey pepperoni one and it was so good but they didn't have it this week. Callum really wanted to try it. Well, he did try it but he wanted it for dinner this week with me but they didn't have it so we got this one. We haven't tried this one yet but I have a feeling it's going to be nice. Then we've also got some triple cooked beef dripping chips to go with the fish and chips and also the pizza then we've just got some hand washes because we've got three bathrooms and no hand wash so we've picked up these which are the sheer butter and ginger they smell really nice actually then we've got a big pack of toilet roll because as i just said we've got three bathrooms now to put toilet roll in so we're going to evenly distribute that then i'm also going to have a stir fry this week so i wanted to try this the coconut and lemongrass stir fry sauce i've really been eyeing this up for ages and i couldn't try it because i was on keto so i've got that then we've got some marmite some coconut milk because i'm gonna have my cauliflower soup this week and then we've got cauliflower here for that cheese triangles mozzarella and baby bells then we've also got some crispy salad some tender stem broccoli some red ruby strawberries those are the best from aldi some noodles for the stir fry i've also got some garlic puree and also some pesto because I'm going to have chicken pesto this week. Then some um, oriental stir fry mix. Some tomatoes. Two large avocados. Onions. Some titan bars. Ibuprofen. I saw these today which looked really, really nice. And we always get the coconut crush um, powder. And I saw that they did scent boosters. So we got the same ones, the same scent. Really looking forward to trying those. And then we also just got some microfiber cloths because we've run out from moving and like cleaning. So we needed some. And that is our food shop for this week. <laughs> just not paying attention at all. Little guy, why are you on your puppy pad? Oh, he's asleep. That was quick. Bless him. We left him today uh, to do the food shop, which was the first time we've left him. We only left him for literally like 20 minutes because Aldi's just down the road. But he was very scared and he does nervous poos. So we have had a couple of accidents inside, but luckily on the hard floor because we've got the stair gate. But yeah, he's, um, he's quite nervous when we leave him, bless him. Oh yeah, hard life. <laughs> Such a hard life, Bubba. He must be knackered. Mm. Tired from always crying. Yeah. Bless. Good morning, everybody. It is now Thursday. We moved in on Saturday, so we've been here for a few days now. 
and I'm just about to get ready and I thought I would have a chat with you guys because I don't think I spoke to you yesterday. <laughs> so I've got a couple of videos to film today or actually I think it's just one video that I'm going to film today. Um, I don't really know the sort of layout of my filming setup yet. I don't really know where I'm going to film stuff so it's just trial and error. But it's been a great couple of days. It's been so nice having a little puppy running around i mean if anyone is ever feeling down get a puppy because it just changes everything i've not really had like a moment to feel sad or down or anything or like anxious because i've just been looking after him so that's been really nice he is such a little handful sometimes puppies sleep loads by the way i did not realize how much they sleep um, but when he's awake, <laughs> he literally gets like these massive spurts of energy and he's running around the place like a lunatic. It's so funny to watch. Yeah, it's been really, really nice just being here in the new house. I'm glad that everything is sorted and that we're here and we're unpacked and it's just a great feeling. So I will show you what, um, the dressing room is looking like shortly because I don't think I actually showed you. We have changed it around a little bit since we, when we moved in. It's just been like trying to figure out where to put things as well, going from our house and then coming here. It's just finding where is best to put the things that we need. I need to get some more of this cream because it is completely run out pretty much. So we had the big mirror that's behind me that was in the last dressing room. We had that in the bedroom when we first moved in, but we've decided that we're gonna get rid of the chest of drawers that are in this room currently because they're just too big. Like they just are way too big and we wanted to fit them in the bedroom and we just can't. So we're gonna get some smaller ones like width wise, no, not width wise, wise length wise. And we're gonna get them taller and I think that that would look so much better in the bedroom. So we've moved the mirror out of the bedroom, which is where we had it originally, and it's it's in here now. Because I like to have a full length mirror in my dressing room. It's just good for when you're getting ready. So eventually the chest of drawers, they're actually here at the moment, down here. Um, they're just gonna go. And then we're gonna have room for a little sofa in here which is gonna be like a sofa bed for when people stay. Cause at the moment, well, in our last place, we used to have people stay over, not like all the time, but there would be occasions when people would stay over, but they'd have to sleep on the sofa. So we're just gonna get a little sofa bed for people when they come over. But also it's gonna be like a nice little area for me to film as well. So that's gonna be fun. I love looking for like new home decor. And I feel like for a while I haven't been able to because the last place I'd completely decorated. So like I had nothing else to do with it. So it's so nice just to be in like a new environment and have to, not have to buy new things, but I get to buy new things. But I'm actually filming a haul today because I went out last night um, or yesterday afternoon and I went shopping. I did a little bit of shopping, which I haven't done for a while because I just hadn't needed to. So I went to all of like my favourite homeware places. So we started off actually in Pets at Home, which is not a homeware place, but that is one of my new favourite places at the moment since we've got Teddy. So we took him in last night and we let him pick his own toys. So I got him a couple of toys. I also got him some shampoo for when we need to wash him, um, which I don't think will be anytime soon, but I just wanted to have it there ready in case we needed to. But he's got a new toy, which is a, oh, what is it? Hedgehog. He's got like one of those rustly flat hedgehogs. And he also got a donut. Um, and he picked those out, which was cute. Um, but then I went into Matalan, I went into the range, I went into B&M, it was great. And I picked up some things. So I've actually got enough to do a haul today, which is what the, I don't know if that'll be in the next video. It'll be coming soon, if it hasn't already gone up. So I'm gonna get ready. My best friend Sophie is coming around today as well because she hasn't met Teddy yet. Um, she's been away for a few days so she is back now and she's gonna meet him for the first time I think he's gonna love her. So that is what I'm getting ready for today. Okay guys as promised I'll show you what the dressing room is looking like. I've actually just filmed a video um, which was a haul of the things that I picked up last night. I'm not sure if you will have seen that already by now 
but um, I'm gonna show you where I placed all of it. But first, I'm gonna show you the dressing room. Please excuse it, it is still a little bit messy. I've got a video that I need to film tomorrow, so there's a whole box of stuff, of things that I need to show, because I'm filming a haul. And yeah, I'm gonna sh just shut up and show you. So as you walk in, the mirror is now here. Hello, um, wardrobe is there, um, my shoes are on top, and then that cupboard has Callum's clothes in it and also bedding, autumn decor, things like that. But Callum has got plenty of room for his clothes. He's also got a drawer down there and I've got a drawer. Then over here, we've got the chest of drawers. Um, again, excuse the mess. Obviously we have been moving and <laughs> Some things just haven't found a home yet, but yeah, my clothes are in here. We are planning, as I mentioned earlier, on getting rid of this because it just takes up so much room, like it's so big. Um, so what we're hoping is to have sort of a smaller length and taller, so maybe get like two drawers that are taller and that will fit in the gap that's in the bedroom, which is just through there. I've tried to keep a similar setup to the last place, but eventually all of this will go probably this against this wall here, and then we're gonna have a sofa bed that's here. Hopefully that's what happens, that is the plan. Um, obviously my curtains are up. I do need to actually give them a good clean. I need to pop them in the washing machine. Um, and then obviously the rug and stuff. So it looks very similar to how it did in the last house, but I feel like it feels cozier. I'm really liking how it looks so far. And then this is what the main bathroom is looking like. So I need to put my skincare stuff on here actually. This is gonna be my skincare mirror. We've got a little shelf there which Callum has decorated. He's actually done so well at decorating that. That looks lush. Um, I have popped the new candle there. I'm gonna give this a good clean, the tray, because I don't think I've cleaned that for a while. Some little plants up here, which again, I need to find a place for those toothbrushes because they're just spare. And then in the bedroom, this is what it's looking like. Um, again, it's a work in progress. I don't really like these lamps anymore, so I wanna change them at some point. But yeah, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Just got some packaging that needs to go in the recycling bin. And then this is what I've done in the ensuite. So the plant is up there. So you guys can see what I mean in the hall about the little window. Toothbrush holder is there. And then we have the new shower mat there. And that's the big old shower. And I've got a couple of things in this bag which I need to take downstairs. Um, so yeah, that's the progress up here. I keep thinking that we haven't had much progress up here, but then I forget that we've only been in this house for like five days now and things just don't happen overnight, even though I would love for that to happen and just have someone unpack for me because that was an absolute mission. But. I feel like it does look good considering we haven't been in here all that long at all. So I'm gonna take these items downstairs. I'm gonna fill up the bar, not vases, like the jars with the washing powder and the scent boosters. And then I think I'm gonna go and edit a video, which is the haul, which I might put up tonight. Not sure, not sure how I feel. Good afternoon everyone it's now the next day i feel like i have been dragging this vlog out over mo multiple days but that's just moving for you so today has been a pretty chilled out day i have just tidied up the house teddy is currently having a little nap upstairs i kept his crate upstairs today because callum isn't here and i do find it sometimes difficult to do what i need to do when i've got a little puppy running around my feet and constantly wants to be with me he's so clingy so luckily he fell asleep in his crate upstairs i did sit with him for a little bit and then he fell asleep and i've just done everything i need to do downstairs which has been great i thought i would show you guys something that just arrived today um literally not long ago and i'm so excited for this so this company kindly reached out to me on instagram called favor and grace and I'm so excited to show you these. So they're wax melts and basically they messaged me saying that they had like a doggy friendly wax melt um, that was like calming for dogs. 
and I thought oh my god that's absolutely perfect and then they also said that they'd send me out some of their other scents as well so it's come today and it's in this little package in here I won't show you the front because it's my address but this is what it looks like inside and then they've sent me a little card that says hello august it's got their august scents on the back um so they've got blackberry and bay plum and mulberry sweet fig and toasted marshmallow which all sound incredible um then they've just given me their little card so these are their details but i will pop them in the description box below as well and then the packaging is like this so let's open it up together oh wow they look like little chocolate bars look how cute they are they smell amazing oh my goodness i mean i could smell it even like without opening the packaging as well oh my god that smells so good so let's go through them we've got pina colada that smells bloody incredible oh my goodness you guys know how much I love a pina colada, love anything coconutty, that just smells incredible. Then we've got plum and mulberry. Again, that smells so nice. Oh, that smells delicious. Then we've got sweet fig. Oh, that is so good. That is really good. And then cozy book club oh my goodness that actually does smell cozy if that makes sense that smells really nice and then they've sent me the big one of the calm and cozy for dogs which i think is so cute and a lot of the time teddy does spend um in the kitchen because obviously we're in the living room quite a lot we're in the kitchen a lot he's normally here but what we're struggling with at the moment is him being okay on his own. So we have slowly started to increase how much we're leaving him alone because he is very clingy. <laughs> but I've actually put my wax burner in the kitchen, literally just. This has reminded me to do that. It was in my dressing room, but I don't really use it in my dressing room because I've got a diffuser. So I thought in the kitchen it would be perfect. And my diffuser is actually like a lamp as well, which is great. So I'll show you where I've put it and I'm going to pop one of these in. How cute. There's actually so much in there as well. It really does look like a chocolate bar. So that's what it looks like. So I'm going to pop one or two in the wax burner. Oh my God. That smells so good. Right, let's break off one. And oh, I broke off the whole thing. Oops. Two. Two. I'm gonna pop these in the wax burner it's actually a very like Christmassy themed wax burner I've got but I use it all year round so this is where I've popped the wax burner just in the utility section and this is it here I have emptied out the dish ready for these so I'm just gonna pop them in and I'm sure in a matter of time it's gonna smell so nice in here and hopefully be really calming for little Teddy guys i think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video here because i want to get it up tonight i feel like i have posted so many videos this week but i've just got loads of content and i can't actually fit it all in which i guess is a good thing isn't it does everyone like that i'm posting more this week or should i just stick to two let me know but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. Also subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video, which I think is on Sunday. Have a lovely weekend. See you then.